I'm John Redmond and welcome to Volume 7 of Anders Card Control. You're going to learn a group of moves here from Chapter 8 uh, in Anders Card Control that are referred to as the Heel Steel Pivot moves. Tony Giorgio also referred to them as the Legend moves because these moves along with the diagonal jog push and control, the sidewinder shift and several others out of Anders Card Control uh, were the moves that when Jerry was a young, unknown uh, card magician, Jerry used uh, these moves, this group of moves that Tony Giorgio called the legend moves, to fool people like Vernon and Charlie Miller. Uh, fooled him and he fooled them badly. So, uh, interestingly enough, these particular moves uh, are some of the most angle-friendly moves in Andrew's card control. However, for most people that have the book, or the uh, Andrew's Card Control, the two-volume set. They look in Volume 1, and they read it, and they look in Volume 2 and see the, uh, the illustrations, and they're like, no way, that can't be. Uh, I just think there's an irony with these moves. They're very powerful moves. What can you do with them? Uh, you can do additions. You can add small numbers uh, onto a pa another packet, small packet of cards. Uh, you can do uh, switches. You can do forces, not only just forces, but you can force multiple cards on um, multiple spectators where they actually get to make all the decisions themselves. Uh, you can also create doubles and triples with it. So here on Volume 7, uh, we're going to delve in and begin to learn these moves. So if uh, you want a set of moves that, uh, that are totally utilitarian, meaning that you can plug and play them uh, together like uh, with other moves, like Legos, uh, not just in Jerry's material, but in your own material, uh, other routines that you do. This is the set of moves for you. So come on in and join me.